Warning, the following videos were made by OpenAI's new engine, Soria. By just a simple writing prompt, they were able to produce this. We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> so just by those simple writing prompts, AI was able to produce those amazing, really unique images that look realistic. I know there's limitations to them and I know there's kind of missteps with people's hands, people's eyes, they're not quite perfect. But remember, this technology has only been around for a couple years and they've only really been producing this kind of content over the last like year or so, at least publicly. So it's pretty amazing to me that how far they've come. So just take a look at a video by just writing a simple prompt of like dogs in the snow a year ago versus today. These are all videos that are on Sora AI's website. I'm kind of just filling you in with what I'm discovering myself as a videographer, content creator, filmmaker. This is worrying to me because I feel like we're getting down this route of, you know, technology and computers and robots being able to do everything we can do at just a faster clip. And I know video and editing and filmmaking isn't the only field this is happening to. I know it's happening to accounting, finance, journalism. I want to say it in a positive light because this technology is so amazing. But at the same time, it is concerning because it is growing at such a fast rate. You take a step back and you wonder like, all right, where is this really going? How much is it going to really take over? Because a lot of these corporations and companies want to find ways to do things the cheapest. If they can spend $3,000 to buy an artificial intelligence engine that will produce them the same imagery, the same output, the same numbers, whatever it is, a lot of these companies, why would they they keep humans to do these jobs. You know, there is pros and cons to this technology and how fast and amazing it can be. Yes, it's amazing. What they're doing is amazing. It's groundbreaking. It's a breakthrough in, you know, video technology. And I'm excited to see where it goes. But on the counter to that, it's like, I'm nervous to see where it goes and how much better it could get. And how, you know, are we gonna get to the point where we're seeing movies and TV shows that are all produced by AI? Probably. Yeah, I mean, we probably will. There's gonna get to time and a point. Everything we see is AI produced. And we're gonna almost need, in my opinion, we're gonna need that little stamp that says, hey, this is produced by AI because this is the worst this technology he's gonna get. So in five years, probably will be able to just create an entire movie. You know, maybe actors that have passed away, maybe actors that are, you know, just they couldn't make this shoot that day. They're not, it's gonna take opportunities away from real people, actors, background, which obviously SAG has been fighting for this last year and the WGA has been fighting for this last year. But at the same time, I don't want this video to be all doom and gloom because I think there's ways that we can integrate this into our workflows and into our creative skill sets and into our reality of whether we're doing vlogging, blogging, filmmaking. There's ways that we can utilize this technology to heighten our abilities and we can kind of integrate it because it's not going anywhere. So at this point, I think we got to kind of work with it because if we try to, you know, be the old man yelling at the cloud like, hey, you're not going to bother me, we just get left behind. I know for me, myself, for a long time, I was like iffy on smartphones. I remember like leaving high school, I was like, I don't want to get a smartphone. I don't want to get a smartphone. I don't need a smartphone. I just need to call and like text kind of. You know, in hindsight, that was, you know, dumb of me because I felt like there was a couple years where I could have been up on the times with the technology aspect of it because you know that is the field I wanted to go into at the time was like video editing it held me back from being able to use those devices and use those techniques that other people were using so I think we just got to tread lightly with this AI stuff and I think it's exciting and it's enthralling and seeing how fast the tech is growing but at the same time when you get just basic writing prompts creating images like this In a matter of moments, you're like, damn, bro, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Saying all this, I do think there is a value and will always be a value in human creation, human interaction, human storytelling, human filmmaking, you know, real people on camera telling real stories that people are going through in the moment. 
in society or even vlogs or blogs like this where you, you you're talking to an audience you're telling people what you think i don't think that's ever going to go away i mean i think we're gonna get to a point in society where we are blended together in like with like robots or something kind of like elon musk's recent uh Neuralink chip which i don't even i don't even know enough to even talk about but <laughs> i read something about the other day where the guy was moving a mouse with his mind and uh yeah i don't know i don't know i mean i was hesitant on smartphones it's probably i mean the thing is it's probably gonna take over though i don't know in like 30 years are we all gonna have chips on our brand we're gonna look foolish if we don't Ultimately what I hope is that as it progresses along the way, distributors, social media outlets, movies, TV shows, they start putting maybe a little uh, signifier that says, hey, this is an AI generated video, photo. I know Twitter X is now doing that. They announced the other day, they're gonna start putting like a little warning on there. Hey, this is an AI generated thing, which I think is great. I mean, I think it gives people the opportunity to realize like, hey, AI was used in creating this. Do you want to support it? Do you not want to support it? Do you want to share it? Understanding, knowing that like this is a something that's probably taking away someone's graphic design job, someone's video job, someone's videographer job. So I think by putting that on there, it gives people the options and the choices to decide what they want to do with that image or video. So that's That would be a solution that I have. It may help curb the distribution of the content. At the end of the day, I don't know if it's ever gonna take away the raw comedy feeling that someone can have from a video, from stand-up, from a vlog, from a blog, from a TikTok, from a dance. You know, I don't know if AI will ever be able to recreate that, but it looks like they're trying. <laughs> So we just gotta, you know, we gotta again, we gotta integrate it, we gotta blend it into our workflows and see what see what comes up of it. I'm very curious to see what you guys think about AI, about SOAR AI. I want you to check out the website below in the link. It tells you everything about this technology from the company itself. A lot of the information went over my head. I didn't really get it, but what I do get is that by writing a simple prompt, you get these great videos. Intimidating, exciting, interesting, all the above. Let me know what your opinion of Soar AI is and uh, I'm curious to see what you have to say. So like this video, comment below those thoughts and you know subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Happy clicking around the wormhole of YouTube. Keep on clicking, YouTube's wild. Undelay, undelay, mama, AI, AI, oh, what's poppin' the night? Undelay, undelay, mama, AI, AI, oh, what's poppin' the night? Now, this ain't no Nelly song, baby. We're talking artificial intelligence.